Listen up. We got an election to run under the strict supervision of heavily medicated octogenarians. When you have a show like The Simpsons that has been on for over 30 years and has literally grown with the times and made fun of them constantly, you're going to have some times when the show goes and makes some bold predictions that come true. That's just how it goes sometimes. But when it comes to the year 2020, not only did The Simpsons predict a lot that would happen this year, but they got it to a very scarily accurate degree. Allow us to show you what we mean, but first, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card. Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. Number 7. Tom Hanks Let's start with one that had a lot of people going and panicking for certain reasons. Because when the pandemic started in the United States and abroad, there was an ill-founded belief that only certain types of people could and would get it, mainly the elderly and children, as well as those who had weakened immune systems. But what really set a lot of people off was that when it came to celebrities getting infected, Tom Hanks was one of the people that got infected. Both him and his wife revealed that they were infected and that they were going into quarantining to ensure that they weren't going to be infecting anyone else. This would be the first of a wave of celebrity diagnosis that ranged from physically fit people like The Rock to legendary sports figures like Nick Saban, Tom Izzo, who was just recently diagnosed, and causing all sorts of procedures to try and prevent this from happening again. But how does this relate to The Simpsons? Simple. During one episode, the government quote hired Tom Hanks, actually voiced by Tom Hanks, to do a PSA about the new Grand Canyon that they were going to make by destroying Springfield. One of the lines that Tom Hanks said before ending was, this is Tom Hanks saying, if you see me in person, leave me be. A lot of people saw this as a prediction coming true because since Tom is infected with the virus sweeping the world, that you would want to leave him be. A bit of a stretch? Yeah, kind of. Because obviously the commercial he was doing was for a Grand Canyon via blowing up a city, and thus not a sickness. But if you really want to infer things in a larger commercial slash PSA, he went and rubbed a kid's head and sparkles came off of it, which you could use to say was him infecting a kid. And we're supposed to avoid contact with people so that we don't spread the virus. So you be the judge. Thankfully, both Tom and his wife got better, as did many other celebrities who had the virus, and the Hanks even became advocates to try and ensure that the virus was taken seriously, which could have been done sooner if people had just remembered that The Simpsons predicted that too. Number 6. The Pandemic The history of the pandemic is one that has been discussed and debated and detailed over for many months now. Very loosely, the strand of virus that came about started infecting people in China, then through exposure started making many districts in China sick that led to a major lockdown, more on that later, of the nation because they didn't want it to spread. But because of contact with the virus, a whole bunch of people got it and the world was soon infected. Enter The Simpsons. In an episode from 1993, The Simpsons had to deal with an epidemic of their own. A Far Eastern virus was brought over via a certain food and it infected the town heavily just by coming into contact with these things. It was called the Osaka Flu. Now, some people would look at this and go, well, that's kind of a vague description because there are several diseases out there that you could say have come from the Far East. And you're right, as is the case with prophecies, you see and interpret what you want, especially since Osaka is in Japan, not China. But Japan is right next to China, so take that as you will. The irony of this prediction, though, is that after many people said that The Simpsons predicted it, the team behind The Simpsons came forward and basically said, no, we didn't. Not to mention many scientists noted that how the virus was spread in The Simpsons via someone sneezing into a food item box that was opened by Homer is a completely impossible way of getting it. But even with all that, the fact is they did predict the pandemic that would come. Number 5. The Lockdown That Followed As noted, when the virus was first truly taken seriously by China, their immediate instinct was to go and lock everything down. And after a while, it worked, though it did hurt a lot of things in the process. The United States was quick to follow, as were other nations. As the lockdowns and their criteria grew, it became more and more clear that things weren't going to be the same for some time. But it goes deeper. The United States went and shut down international travel to certain parts of the world to help ensure that people don't get infected from people coming in, or give the virus to other people by going out. Which was smart, and other countries not only did that, but they're still doing that in terms of restricting where people can enter a country from, especially when it comes to the United States, because our virus cases are still growing. In short, the countries of the world are surrounding themselves in a dome bubble to try and protect themselves, just like the government did to Springfield in that episode I mentioned earlier. The EPA, which is a real government group for the record, decided that to prevent the spread of the virus that was in Springfield, they would just keep everyone inside of a dome. What could possibly go wrong with that, right? And yet, that's kind of what the US and other nations are doing. They're trying to isolate themselves, tell their citizens to go into self-quarantine, and more in order to help protect the people. Now, there are certain nations that have gone farther with their quarantine procedures, and there are some who have lessened them. But technically speaking, the dome effect is still in play. 
Plus, as sports fans know, the NBA and NHL instituted what they called the bubble to try and quarantine players so that they could play their sports, and leaving the bubble led to even harsher penalties for those players. So figuratively, or metaphorically, or technically, literally, we were put into a dome and told it was for our own good. And the Simpsons were in that too. And now we're all hoping that like the Simpsons, we'll get out of it as well. Number 4. Trump the Ineffective Part 1 There are some out there who still can't believe that Donald Trump won the 2016 election to become the President of the United States. But, all the way back in 2000, the Simpsons thought it could happen, and they played it big. This was in the episode Bart to the Future and featured another future timeline in which Lisa was actually the President of the United States and she said lines that indicated that the billionaire businessman was indeed the President before her. But was it just a joke meant to be funny? Not according to the writers. They actually did the episode as a kind of warning to America. That just seemed like the logical last stop before hitting bottom, the writers said. It was pitched because it was consistent with a vision of America going insane. Matt Gronig was asked about this and he recalled why Trump was picked then and why it's even more ironic now. Trump was, of course, the most absurd placeholder joke name that we could think of at the time. And that's still true. It's beyond satire. Indeed, Trump's current reign as president has been one full of controversy and chaos, and that continued all the way into 2020 and the recent election. But if we look beyond that and we look at the intent of what Donald Trump as a president meant to the Simpsons writers when they wrote the episode and how it played out now with a global pandemic, you'll see a lot of their darkest fears coming true. Let's start out with something that happened in his term as president. Mainly, he went and fired a whole group of people from their positions in the government who were actually in charge of keeping the country safe from things like the pandemic. Yes, previous President Barack Obama went and created a team who would look throughout the world and try and see what infections or diseases might be coming so the United States could be ready for it. In his own words in the speech that announced this, he stated that he felt, within a decade, that a global pandemic would be upon us. And yeah, he was right. But Trump thought that the team was stupid and thus he fired them all. So when the virus hit, we were unprepared. In fact, many would say we were drastically unprepared when the pandemic started. What's more, because of the firings of these people, we only had a small early warning that this thing could infect our nation, and we didn't react quickly enough to get it to a place where we could have fought it outright, instead of playing defense like we're still doing over six months later. Number 3. They predicted how ineffective Trump would be as a president part 2. If you think that President Trump would see the error of his ways and go and work extra hard to try and fix this, you would be very, very wrong. Because throughout the early months of the pandemic, he would either A, deny that the pandemic was going to be that bad, B, deny that it was his fault that this all happened like it did when it was, C, not take it seriously by wearing a mask in which he eventually got the virus and spread it to others, and D, knock anyone and everyone who tried to preach rational methods to stop the spread. And this is the kind of thing that people like the Simpsons creators no doubt feared would happen if Trump did indeed become president. And this is still only scratching the surface of all the things he's done and the pain he's caused people. If you still don't think he's been irresponsible for this, the leading disease expert in the United States, Dr. Fossey, had been repeatedly insulted by Trump and his cronies, even though he had proof of how bad the virus is going to be in terms of spread, even stating before the 2020 election that he was going to fire Fauci for not falling in line. And he hated Fauci so much that Fauci and his family had to get security to protect them because Trump followers were sending death threats his way. All because one man who is a leading expert in the field of diseases is trying to help us not get sick. What a world we live in. And thankfully, Trump hasn't been re-elected, and Joe Biden takes this very seriously, and thus will help us get through this in the right way. Number two, the protests. Given all we have shown, you'd think there'd be nothing left to predict, right? Wrong. In the episode Marge and Chains, Marge gets arrested wrongfully, and that leads to civil unrest in Springfield, including burning down the police station. That's very much like the riots and protests that happened via the murder of George Floyd via police officers who used deadly force to restrain him for having a counterfeit $20 bill. The results of the act were felt worldwide and protests are still going on today, which shows just how much people cared about the issue, not unlike how they cared about Marge getting wrongfully arrested. The shocking thing though is that like the Marge arrest, the events that followed showed a lot of inept and downright cruel officers doing heinous things to people and protesters including violently beating them even though they were unarmed or using rubber bullets and tear gas despite them being outlawed and more. This is easily one of the sadder predictions that The Simpsons made that came true. Number 1. Election 2020 The election that just happened, and technically is still happening because of a certain someone refusing to concede, is something that many people were hoping to go a certain way and it did, with the loss of Donald Trump and the electing of Joe Biden. 
And while it's fair to say that The Simpsons didn't fully predict certain things that happened in the election, they did get certain elements right that are just staggering. For example, in one future episode, Lisa was shown to have been winning an election by about 72 million votes to her rival's nearly 69 million. Well, those numbers were very close to what was done in the election. And in fact, the election in the real world had the highest number of votes in US history, which also would have been the same for Lisa's election. As if that wasn't enough, Lisa lost the election because she was accused of cheating, which is what Donald Trump is trying to make happen right now by saying Joe Biden didn't win the election because of fraudulent votes. Furthermore, the Simpsons team were one of the many who led the charge in terms of trying to get people to not just vote, but vote for Joe Biden because of all the terrible things Trump did while as president. And guess what? It worked. As noted, there were a staggering number of votes cast in the election, and it showed the people knew what Trump had done and that they wanted him gone. And while a reaction episode isn't likely to happen this Sunday, if it does, we suspect they'll have predicted Biden would win, and likely showing Springfield partying, just like much of the world did when Biden was announced as the winner. Plus, given the amount of things that have happened during the election week, we can bet the Simpsons team will have fun making that work in their favor with other predictions about Trump and his family. It's only a matter of time. And there you have it, everyone. A look at the Simpsons in the year 2020 and how the two lined up to a very scary degree. Which of these predictions that were made by the Simpsons did you find the most haunting? Can you believe just how well they did these predictions? Which ones do you feel were just coincidence? Do you know another thing that they did in the show that ended up happening in 2020? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.